So taking the first business process, determine applicant eligibility, I want to take that and look at the details behind it. So opening up determine process, determine applicant eligibility, the business process, I could look at the full description details for that business process. I can look at other particular details, for example, under this analysis tab, I see a related items link. And this related items box shows me all of the related items for this particular type of business process. For example, we see technology that um, are related to this business process. We see several locations where this business process is performed. So for example, in the Acme Detroit location, as well as the Acme New York location, we're performing this business process. We see the role that um, is responsible for this business process. We see an application that executes this business process. So we can determine if a business process is executed manually or is executed by an application. And this accounts receivable application is an application that provides, um, supports the determined applicant eligibility business process. Uh, we have a list of our applications uh, within System Architect. So if I look back at my Explorer pane on the left to look at all of my data, looking under definitions, expanding my application list, here I have a list of all of my applications. And um, this is where I can take an application and make a relationship from the application uh, and say that this application executes a particular business process. So uh, in order to do that, I want to make a relationship from an application to a business process, but I also want to import an application or several applications from a list in an Excel spreadsheet. So we can import data from an Excel spreadsheet, and um, let's go ahead and import uh, a list that I have in CSV format for my application list. Select the uh, spreadsheet, and select the definition type I'd like to import into. In this case, it's an application, and select OK. On the right, I'm presented with a report. I see that I have two newly added records, two newly, newly added applications. So on the left, I can now view my applications that I uh, recently imported. Uh, before I'm doing that, let me open up the application spreadsheet just to see what I imported. And here I have two new applications, System Z application and Customer Account Lookup. These two applications I want to import into System Architect. And doing that um, within the import functionality, import definitions, and then I can look at uh, my newly created applications from the Excel spreadsheet import, which is this Customer Account Lookup application, as well as the System Z application. So let's make a relationship between customer account lookup and the determined applicant eligibility business process. To do that, we can um, use this matrix browser, which is one way System Architect um, allows users to make relationships between different objects. So here in particular, we're making a relationship between two different domains of the enterprise architecture from the business, business um, architecture to the application architecture. So we have our applications, we have our business processes. Let's open up this internal um, spreadsheet called the matrix browser uh, and look at the relationships that we currently have, what gaps we have, and then make some relationships between business processes and applications that execute a business process. So, this matrix browser ships with System Architect out of the box with over 100 different matrices. Uh, it is filtered into the different domains of the architecture from the high level enterprise to the business, application, data, etc. So looking at the business enterprise, we want to take one of these reports, uh, which is a predefined report, from business processes to applications. So taking that, um, here we're presented with a filter. If I'd like to filter in on any of the applications that I see, or filter in on any of the business, process that, business processes that I see in the report, 
for example, filter in on the business processes that are um, provided by a certain business uh, department or organizational unit or role. I can do that at this level or just choose to view all data. Looking at the data here, I see this internal spreadsheet called the matrix browser. I see my applications on the left. And again, these are applications that I've either created in System Architect or imported from an Excel spreadsheet. On the left here, I see my customer account lookup, which is that new application that I imported. And on the top across the columns, I see my business processes. So here are the business processes. Um, one in particular is called a determine applicant eligibility. And I'll go down my list and I can see which applications execute that business process. I can use this matrix browser to, um, after creating a new business process, to look down my list of applications and determine where I could facilitate reuse of an application for a particular business process. Uh, I can also look at my list of applications to see how my applications are supporting business processes and then use this matrix browser to facilitate discussions as to if an application is in place and um, not supporting a business process, then uh, what are the measurements you want to do um, to support that application or remove support of that application. So looking at uh, my applications and my determined applicant eligibility business process, looking down the list, I'll create a relationship between the determined applicant eligibility business process and the customer account lookup. So there I've made a relationship and that relationship is propagated throughout the repository. So I can either look at the determinate applicant eligibility business process from the matrix browser, look at the details of this object, and I can see the relationship to the application customer account lookup. Or I can close this matrix browser. And in the model, in the business model, look at my business process, and again, look at the details behind that. To see now that we have an application uh, that was imported from an Excel spreadsheet and is now supporting this business process. So from um, this business architecture, we can transition the work over to IT so facilitating that business to IT bridge, we can, within System Architect, from a business process model, automatically transi transition a business process model to a use case diagram. Transitioning the work um, from a business perspective over to an IT perspective so that IT can start creating resources and uh, to support the business functions. So from uh, a business process model, we can export, choose to export to a use case diagram automatically. And this exports all of the business processes uh, and creates them as use cases in a UML use case diagram. And it uh, assigns all of the swim lanes associated to a business process in the business process model uh, as actors in a use case diagram uh, related to the use cases. So let's navigate from the business process to the use case diagram. Opening up that use case diagram, um, which was created, transitioned automatically, we can look at um, this verify account as a use case diagram. 